An animal cruelty investigation is happening right now in Hancock County. This is what they found. Pigs, goats, and chickens, just some of the animals seized from a farm there. And sadly, officials found more than 30 dead animals on this property. Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton shows us some of the rescued animals and talks with the organizations who stepped in to help with this horrific case. This is Knuckles. He's just one of the animals rescued from a farm in Hancock County, a property that's now at the center of an animal cruelty case. I've been doing this for 15 years and it's been one of the more you know horrific cases that we've seen so there really is no excuse for what um, had happened. Crews found goats, pigs, chickens, sheep, a donkey, a wide variety of animals sick and starving. More than 70 were seized, another 37 were found dead. There was complete lack of care and compassion for any type of animal. Olivia Head is the founder of Oinking Acres Farm and Rescue Sanctuary, one of the organizations called in to help. She says animals were left without food, water, and barely any shelter. When we first walked into the barn where these guys were sleeping, it was very early in the morning, so everyone was pretty much still in bed, but all three of these guys were snuggled up next to a recently deceased calf. Rescue organizations shared these pictures with us, showing goats and sheep they found locked in a truck after they heard their cries. It's one of those moments when you're kind of in the moment trying to capture animals to rescue and you see something like that, it's just you know, gut-wrenching. A report has been filed and an investigation is underway. Adria Johnson with A Critter's Chance is pushing for punishment against the person responsible. In order to make an impact, you know, Justice does need to be, you know, served in situations like this. For now, the focus is caring for these animals and making sure they're healthy. They're doing much better now. They're a lot happier. In Brownsburg, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. The Hancock County prosecutor is reviewing a report and will work with law enforcement to determine what charges will be filed. So if you're interested in either helping the rescue organizations, you can actually find some information. It'll be on our story in our online post at fox59.com.